I mean, 71% of all people, they recently did a survey, the American Payroll Association, found that 70% of all workers would actually, if their pay- paycheck was delayed for just one week, they would be unable to meet their current financial obligations. So we have no foundation, financial foundation anymore. Most people just have kind of, you know, but they might have money invested in the stock market. And to me, this doesn't make sense. There's somehow, somewhere, somehow, our values have gotten turned around. Right. So, you know, you've got the 401k. All that is taken away from you. You have no access. You have nothing you can do. One day it's worth one thing. Another day it's worth another thing. To your, you know, the most, you, if, if everything is invested in IRAs, 401ks, Roths, all of those things, then you have virtually, you, well, you have no idea what it's going to be worth at some date in the future. That's and, exactly the problem. And there is no paycheck-oriented, you know, corporate-driven kind of savings method. And when you said that, I was like, do you remember the days when you used to have your Christmas account? Mm-hmm, yeah. Right? Your special right. Christmas account, your special this, your special that. And people were saving, even they if it were. was for a little they thing. Were. It, yes, yeah. they were, and it worked. And I remember that if that, you know, whatever you had saved in your Christmas account, that's what we were spending for Christmas, period. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And actually, that's a really good point because a lot of people, because with Bank on Yourself, we talk about how you can use a Bank on Yourself plan to get back the cost of things like cars and vacations and so on. And people sometimes don't quite understand what we're talking about here, and they'll say, so are you telling me that I should spend money that I don't have? And that is absolutely not what this is about. The average family will actually spend just under half a million dollars over a 30-year period just for their cars and vacations alone. But by simply running those purchases, purchases through a bank on yourself plan, you could put all those dollars back in your own pocket and then some. Now, here's the way it works. There are the conventional way of buying things are like that you either finance them, you lease them, or you pay cash for them. Let's use a concrete example of a car. If you were to finance a car, at, a, at the end of the loan, all you're going to have to show for it is your car worth whatever the trade-in value happens to be at that point. If you lease it, at the end of the lease, you're going to turn it back in, and now you have nothing to show for your payments. If you were to put away money in a savings account, when you then pull it out to pay cash, well, now you're earning zero interest on your money. These are all losing scenarios because you're either going to pay interest if you're going to use someone else's financing or you're going to lose the interest that you could have earned had you kept your money invested instead. However, if you save up your money in a bank on yourself plan, you can actually borrow it to pay cash for a car or whatever your heart desires, and the money in your plan is going to continue to grow at the exact same rate. Now, of course, you want to pay your plan back unless you're taking retirement income to uh, to get the greatest to get the greatest benefit. And I I will make one other comparison here between what Dave Ramsey says about this. In his latest book, he has a rant. You know how he has those little rant sections? Anyway, he has a rant about whole life. Obviously, in response to having been asked about barring against your policy to self-finance things, and he says that whole life is a horrible product. Why would you pay interest on your own savings? That's backward and does not make you smart. But that statement overlooks the fact that you do finance everything you buy because uh, if you use your savings to buy things as Dave and other recommend, you're going to stop earning interest and investment income on, on that money. That does not happen with bank on yourself. And furthermore, this is, this is amazing, but if you use a bank on yourself finance uh, policy to say finance a new car Every few years, and you pay it back to your plan, paying the interest rate that the company charges on loans, and yes, they do charge an interest rate, you will end up with the exact same equity in the plan as you would if you'd never used it to finance anything. But you will have had the use and enjoyment of the cars, the vacations, 
or whatever else you're financing through the plan. And so this whole process allows you to basically use your money in the plan and still have it working for you, and it allows you to enjoy more of life's luxuries but without the guilt because you know you're doing that without robbing your nest egg. 